Hi guys, I'm Julie Salva. I know most of you from my um, career as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and if I haven't met you yet, I hope to meet you over the course of the next six weeks as we facilitate this online Bible study. Let me tell you a little bit about how this came about, what we're going to do, and how I hope it's going to work. I have been teaching classes for about the past five years at my church. I teach every Sunday a, um, a life group. And then over the fall, the spring, the summer, I teach and facilitate different Bible studies that people have written or, or that, um, that, that we've done at the church. And over that time, I've discovered that I just love teaching. I love spending time in the Word of God. I love sharing it with the women that are in the studies. I love hearing what God is showing them and doing in their lives and just that interaction of, of believers working um, together to, to learn more about God and to grow in God um, has just become a passion that I have. So about a month ago, Jackie Bolheis contacted me and asked me if I'd be willing to facilitate a Bible study for, for this group. And although I was, was humbled that she even asked, I was also um, excited and a lot scared. Because if you know me at all, you know that techie is not something that goes hand in hand with my name. In fact, if you were to say, hey, tell me what you know about Julie Salva, you would probably hear, um, she talks a lot, she got big hair, um, she likes bling, she can be kind of funny, um, but I'm venture to say that just about uh, no one would say that I was a, a techno whiz because I'm not, I'm horrible at it. But Jackie convinced me that we could do this and that she could help me with that. And um, so I prayed about it. I said, let's, let's give it a go. So we are going to be offering the Bible study called No Other Gods. It's by an author named Kelly Minter. And Kelly is actually from Nashville, near where I'm from. I live in a town called Mount Juliet, Tennessee. I actually facilitated this study this summer in, of all places, um, the beauty shop. Isn't that funny, y'all? The hair salon. We would, we'd bring chairs in and sit down and, and, and even sit at like the sinks and the hair dryer stations. And I mean, you talk about multitasking girls. I mean, big hair in the Bible, we worked it all out. All that to say, I thought, you know what, this would be a great study to do. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to take six weeks. There's 18 chapters in this book, so we'll do three chapters a week. And every week, I'm going to post a video on the Facebook page, and I'm going to list some questions that I would ask you to answer. That's going to be the key to this thing, guys. We need interaction. We need you participating as well. Um, what are you thinking? What do you think about these questions? What did God show you as you read this? Is there anything that, that hits you that you don't understand, that you want to talk about, or that you just love? So we're going to be sharing with each other those things. As time goes on, we may be able to do some, some Twitter conversations. Um, maybe we can figure out some other means, whether it be Skype or something to interact. But at the very least, we'll have this Facebook page up and running that we're going to be interacting with one another on. So um, you are a guinea pig, and, and don't tell me that you weren't warned because you have been, okay? So anyway, let's talk about the book, No Other Gods. If I were to ask you, hey, okay, so um, talk to me. Tell me about the other gods that you have. Most of you probably look at me and be like, um... I don't really know what you're talking about, Julie, because I don't have other gods. There's one God, it's that one, the big guy upstairs, that's who I, that's who I love, that's my guy, you know? And I was like that too. I mean, that's, that's what I thought. But what this book does is it forces us to dig a little deeper, to drill down a little bit, and see if maybe there are some, um, some things that have snuck in that maybe are taking some of our attention away from that. You know, an idol is something that is a, um, a false representation of something. That's one of the definitions I saw, a false representation. Think about it. We want God, okay, we want God to fulfill us, to, to give us life, to give us hope, to strengthen us, to encourage us. And so we need him to do that. But I wonder if maybe there's some things that we have, have looked to to also provide those things. If so, we're not the only ones. In 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 33, there's a, a verse about the Israelites. And I love the Israelites because, buddy, if there is a way to screw something up, they're going to have figured it out. And, and really, I would sit there and be like, how in the world can they do that? Until God said, Julie, you would be like the queen Israelite. That, boy, that is true. If there's a way to mess it up, I'll have it. But in this verse, it talks about that they worshiped the Lord, but they served their other gods. They worshiped the Lord, but they served their other gods. And in 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 41, it says it again. They worship the Lord, but they serve their other gods. And I got to thinking, you know what? There may well be some other gods that have snuck in that I am looking to to provide me life, to provide me hope, to, to keep me going, to validate me, to define who I am. 
I'll worship God. Y'all, I love me some worship. I'll worship God. But am I serving gods? And that's kind of where we're going to go in this book. And we're not going to go there um, in a spirit of fear or a spirit of condemnation or a spirit to, to get on to each other with it. But we're going to go recognizing this. If God wants us to clear out some of the idols that we've let in our lives, it's because he's got something so much bigger that he wants to replace in each of our lives. He's got him. And how exciting is that? I wonder if maybe I've been content to eat a McDonald's hamburger every day and God is like, Julie, I've got filet mignon for you, girl. I got a plan bigger than you ever could conceptualize. I've got more. But before that more can happen, we've got to get rid of that less that we're settling for. That's what this book is about. So if you want to join in, again, six weeks, three chapters a week. It's a pretty easy read. She's a great author. And um, it's just a little bit of dialogue together, some questions, some learning, some sharing. I'd love to have you. I really would. I hope that you'll want to join in. If you do, you can get your book, No Other Gods by Kelly Mentor. You can... Um, order it on amazon.com. You can go to a local bookstore. If they don't have it, they can order it for you. And we're looking to start September 23rd. So um, I hope to hear from you. Hope to meet you. Hope to see you. We won't be sitting around the kitchen table, but we will get to visit together on this. So if you have any questions, let me know. Guys, y'all have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.